So let's look at this plugin called Melodyne. Now here's Melodyne. Now Melodyne is a lot more powerful than Autotune because you can do a lot more detailed adjustments. So if I wanted to use Melodyne, what you have to do is actually record whatever audio you want in Melodyne and then manipulate it here. It also follows the timeline. So you can't press play in Melodyne and have it play here. You have to press play in the main session and then it will follow along here. So let's turn on transfer and press play. Don't rush them slowly. So what it's doing now is Melodyne is recording these vocals into it. Alright, that's enough. So, it has now detected the notes that Craig e. T. just sang. And you can see, alright, according to Melodyne, you could zoom in right here. Let's zoom in some more. It sees also B major. You can see he's a little bit above B major here, a little bit above here, and he's following the notes pretty well. C sharp. You can go along. You can see that he's a lot on B major. And he jumps up and he goes to C sharp again. So you can see the notes. Now, if you wanted to move these notes, you could press Alt and you could individually adjust syllables. You could even break it up by right? making it go into this little tool here and double clicking. And you can get even more precise adjustments of every single syllable. So if you wanted it to be 100% on B major, you could go through and you could adjust it. Or you could actually change it. Suppose I wanted to make it different. Suppose I wanted to change this note into a C sharp. Well, I could hold down Alt and move it up. If you don't hold up, by the way, it makes bigger jumps. Slow. So if you really want a precise movement, you press Alt. Slow. There we go. So let's press play now. Don't rush them slowly. Take me by the gun, give you my rolly. So I could even change the melody. Let's, let's move this also up. Let's play it now. Don't rush them slowly. Take me by the gun, give you my rolly. Make your wheels. So now I'm adjusting individual syllables and that's the power of Melodyne. So if there was a singer, for example, that wasn't singing perfectly or there's just one note that he made a mistake on, you could actually come in here and fix it. There's even more you can do with Melodyne. So if you knew the scale of this, right now you could even look, okay, what has a B, a C sharp, a D sharp, and you could again guess the scale, but according to Melodyne, it put it as B major, which is a good judge. But let's suppose we wanted to set it to what we said it before, which was C-sharp. You could right-click and say C-sharp minor. And these are the notes for C-sharp minor. All right. Now, suppose you wanted to lock these notes into C-sharp minor. You want everything to be right on the grid line, no fluctuation. Well, instead of actually one by one moving every single syllable, what I could do is I could zoom out. I could grab what I want. And I could come to this button called correct pitch. And if I click it, I could put snap to C-sharp major. Okay, cool. But you can still see some notes are off. If I was to adjust this, it pulls it more and more right into the actual note. So now it's 100% on the grid. And I could even correct the pitch drift, which is rush take slowly. When he swings the note, if I don't want any swinging of the pitch, I could adjust this and it's going to start pulling in the swing subtly. So let's press play now. Okay, and press play again. Don't rush them slowly. Take me by the gun, give you my rolly. Make your wheels go la 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 la. Your bum fuck up. And you could hear that now every single note is locked into an exact note. Now to me, it doesn't sound as good. Especially when you have a nice singer. You kind of like the swing, but I'm showing you the power of the tool. Now if you look at this section especially, you're going to see, let me zoom in. A lot of swing. And there's something else that you can use Melodyne to do. If I was to just want to remove the swing in this section, for example, I could select it. I could come to this tool right here, the pitch tool, and I could pull down into the pitch modulation tool. Now, if I drag up and down while holding it, it pulls in the swing. So now I'm reducing the swing. And let's play it now. Don't rush them slowly. Take me by the gun, give you my rolly. So I've just removed the swing. If I push it up, 
it's actually going to increase the swing. So let's play it again. If I wanted to play it closer, I'd have to actually play it closer up here, not here. So I can't click here and say play. You have to click here. Let's play. Here, putum, putum, dum, do putum, as opposed to. It's very flat now. So if there's a note that swings way too much, you could use the pitch modulation tool and actually pull it in. Or if there's something that's too flat, you might could actually increase it a bit. And that's the power of Melodyne. A great plugin to use if you have to do some really, really powerful corrections in vocals or even instruments because you can load any audio into this. All right? So those are three plugins that if you do want to spend some money and buy, I fully, fully recommend them because they're extremely powerful and useful. All right. So let's jump back into Ableton 12 and continue the lesson.